Cora has recently rolled out its latest AI chat box called Poe. So in today's video, I'll be going over the specific functionalities of Poe, some of its unique features, and what makes it different from other AI chat boxes in the market, such as ChatGPT or Google Bard. So this is the interface for Poe. I believe it's still in beta right now. So if you want to get access to it, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. But essentially, it's very similar to other AI chat boxes. You have the ability to ask the AI specific questions in a conversational type manner and you'll be able to get specific responses now the main difference is right off the bat that i can see with poe is that instead of having one specific large language model that you're using for instance let's say chat gpt or gpt4 they have a variety of different large language models from different companies so we can see some of the most popular ones here which would be gpt4 so this is the latest large language model by um, open ai which allows you to get very high quality outputs but if we scroll down we can also see chat gpt so i believe this is gpt 3.5 turbo that they're using and they also have some other um large language models such as sage claudy or claude plus not sure exactly how that's pronounced and dragonfly so if you actually want to go ahead and see which model that's being used you can go ahead and click on that specific model and then if you click on the name, you will be able to see what this bot is being powered by. So Sage is being powered by OpenAI. So most likely they're using one of the GPT-3 models. And if we went over to Claude or Claude A, we can see that this is being powered by Anthropic, which is a competitor to OpenAI, which has built their own unique large language models. So essentially it's a competitor to GPT-3 or GPT-4 um, with its own unique AI that's trained on its own data set. And if we head down to Dragonfly, again, this is powered by OpenAI. So this is using text DaVinci 003, um, which is GPT 3.5. So GPT 3.5, not GPT 3.5 Turbo. So as you can see, there's a variety of different models in which you can choose from, but I presume that they'll probably reduce this and just have very specific models because you don't really need to have the um, GPT 00 or text DaVinci 003 and GPT 3.5 Turbo because GPT 3.5 Turbo is really, really good. And once GPT-4 becomes a little bit more stable, that will be able to replace GPT-3.5 Turbo and Text DaVinci. So you really wouldn't need to have all of these different models. But I guess right now they just want to be able to give the user the ability to choose different models. So that's the first differentiating factor between Po. You have the ability to use different models. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll use the Sage, which is powered by OpenAI. And um, this um, specific chat box allows you to get explanations on specific things. So for instance, I asked it, what does PDF stand for and how did this term come to be? And as you can see, it's given us a definition of PDF and where it came from. So you can also ask things about writing help, coding help, cooking, definitions and meaning, summaries, recommendations, science, how things works, how things work, fun stuff, advice, management, and so on. So essentially anything that you can do on ChatGPT, you'd be able to do it within Sage. So for example, you can ask it, what is the best low carb, no big dessert that I can make within 10 minutes. And as you can see here, you get a nice um, recipe in which you can follow. So, and then you can also go ahead and um, ask it more things um, in addition to the first query that you asked. So for instance, I can ask it, can I substitute with heavy cream, with coconut cream? What other low carb desserts I can make? How can I make this recipe vegan? Okay, and as you can see, it will tell you what to do to make that vegan. So. Um, essentially, anything that you can do with any other AI chat box, you can do it with this specific um, model. And below Sage is GPT-4. And again, um, this is a general knowledge chat box, one of the most powerful uh, models to be created by OpenAI. But right now, there is a limit um, because there is a limit right now with GPT-4. I think they um, have a lot of demand and they're really trying to um, stabilize the model. So you can only send one message per day. So for example, I can ask it how to fix my lower back pain without going to the gym. And as you can see here, we get some examples of things in which you can do to fix your lower back pain. And this is the real powerful features of GPT-4. As you can see, we asked it a very simple question, but we're getting a very um, nuanced and a very um, high quality output. It's giving us specific things in which we can do. It's giving us um, some stretching exercises, some posture um, tips in which we can use, some heat and cold therapy, over-the-counter pain relievers, and so on. So... When GPT-4 becomes available, I do think that this is going to be the predominant model that most companies will use, um, including Poe. Below the GPT-4 model is Claude. And again, Claude is built by Anthropic, which is a competitor that's created its own 
AI um, assisted chat box. So essentially, if you want to use um, this specific chat box, again, very similar use case. So I've asked it the same question, which is how do I reduce my lower back pain without going to the gym? And here are some good tips in which we get back from Claude. Practice good posture, stretch your back, strengthen your core muscles, apply heat or ice, get more sleep, practice mindful movement, see a physiotherapist, heating pad, stay positive. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good um, I'll put it, which we got back from Claude. I've actually never used this AI, um, assisted chat box, but this may be something which I can do a full video on to kind of see how it compares with chat GPT or GPT-4 and Google Bard. Unfortunately, as of right now, when using Po, you only have one message that you can use with Claude. So I don't really want to upgrade right now. So we'll go ahead and use their previous model, which would probably be a less powerful model, which is Claude. That was Claude Plus in which we were using. So let's go ahead and ask it some definitions and meaning. So what does spooky and cookie mean? Okay. Um, can you give me an example? Okay, so I've asked it to write me a 1000 word blog post about what is inflation. And um, I just want to see if we're actually able to generate a thousand word blog post using Claude. Okay, so this was the first set of outputs in which we got back. It doesn't look like it's about a thousand words. I would say this is probably um, around 400 words. Yep, so about 400 words, but I went ahead and asked it to tell me more and it did give me some more information. So let's go ahead and see. And at the end here, it says, let me know if you'd like me to add or expand on any of these additional details in the blog post. I can modify the length and, and content as needed. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and just copy this again here. So we had about 400 words on the first try, and then we got about another 360 words. So about 800 words, um, which is not bad at all. And it was very quick actually to generate that content. So I'll definitely be doing a more in-depth tutorial on Claude to kind of see how it compares in terms of the quality of output and um, the type of content that you're able to get back. Since we were able to generate some content using Claude, I actually wanted to do a quick test to see um, if we would be able to detect AI content using an AI detection tool like originality.ai. And the content is actually 99% original, which is really, really good because we didn't change any of the content. We didn't tell it any prompts for it to write in a way that would be less AI detectable. We just kind of generated the content and right off the bat, it's 99% original. So I'll definitely be doing a full review of Claude. So keep an eye out for that. It seems to be very promising. And below Claude, we have ChatGPT and TextDaVinci003, which um, I've already done reviews of before. So I don't really think we're gonna get any different content that we can get in ChatGPT. So that's my review of Poe. In my opinion, I don't really see the value of it. I don't really understand why someone would wanna use Poe when they can go directly to ChatGPT or they can go directly to Claude and use it on their own websites because you can use uh, the free plans uh, for completely free. But if you wanted to get the plus plans, I would still prefer to use the ChatGPT um, interface or the Claude interface directly rather than having to use Poe. So right now, I don't really see the value. I don't know exactly what the idea is or if they'll be adding other things that will make users want to use Po compared to other um, chat boxes. I think the only value that I see here is that you have the ability to, ch to change in between different models. That might be useful. So I guess we'll just have to see how this plays out and what the plans is uh, for Quora with this AI chat box. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.